Seth watched what was happening, couldn't believe his eyes anymore. The figure of Anna, it was like a legendary god, a being that he had once feared. Thoth rushed to ask Anna, did she have any special experiences in the mortal world? Anna thought for a moment and then said, I've been making patterns with stones since I was a child. Thoth asked Anna to show him the pattern. Anna had formed a circle of stones. Inside the circle, a few more stones were arranged together. Thoth saw the pattern and understood it immediately. He woke Latte up. He looked at Anna. He whispered something in his ear. Thoth took Anna back to the temple. And together they met Odin. Thoth told him about the pattern Anna had created. He also told him about Anna's ability to communicate with the ancient beasts. He believed that Anna was the prophesied. He believed that Anna was the reincarnation of the queen who had disappeared for 3,000 years. In the prophecy, the queen would return to the temple in 3,000 years. In the prophecy, the queen would return to the sanctuary to lead them back to glory. Odin looked at the girl with suspicion. The gods on either side of the table also scoffed at Thoth's speculation. They did not believe that a being so many levels above them would be reincarnated in the body of this mortal. But the blonde woman looked at Anna with a sincere face. She said it was her. Odin realized something. He hurriedly asked Thoth to take Anna out of the sanctuary. Thoth took Anna back to his own quarters. This time, he respectfully let Anna to sleep in her own bed. But no sooner had Anna fallen asleep than she heard something. A golden cloak floated towards her. 